25 years ago, Islamic schools were popping up much in the same way as they are now, but we didn't have the same infrastructure and resources to connect them. Karen Keyworth and Judy Amri, the co-founders, recognized this and created a system for Islamic schools and educators to speak to one another. From there, we've developed this organization to not only provide networking that continues to exist and provide high value to Islamic school educators today, but we've also evolved into providing foundational research. It's one thing to have Muslim schools, but another thing to have effective Muslim schools. And I think what they're doing, offering the training, the tools for Muslim teachers, Muslim educators to be effective. We must, we have to support the work that they're doing. They are doing the work that's going to propel the Muslim community into a, a beautiful future. We're told to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave, but where do we get that knowledge from? We can't just reach there. We have to have some type of map that's going to make what is in the Quran relevant to the kids for today because they're looking for relevancy someplace, any place. Together, we can uplift an entire sector of the American Muslim Ummah. ISLA is one of the only organizations that provides professional support to Islamic schools around the country and increasingly all over the world. I would definitely encourage our community here in the United States, but across North America to continue supporting the work of ISLA. This is great responsibility that ISLA has taken on and it's a much needed avenue and a space for Muslim educators, but also Muslim schools across the country. I encourage all other Islamic schools to also enroll their schools into this organization, not only so they can run programs like this, but so your school leadership can also benefit from the networking and the collaboration that happens with all the other Islamic schools that attend. ESLA, it gives you the cake, the batter, the cooking, the method, the icing, and the way to slice it.